Vladimir Putin and the FSB um, organized and failed at an assassination attempt against their um, most effective uh, competitor, Alexei Navalny. They, they tried to kill him. Um, it was only through an accident uh, of human error that they, did, they didn't succeed. And, and he, five months ago, he then went to Germany to recover. And they thought that if they couldn't kill him, uh, that they would at least keep him out of Russia and make him politically irrelevant. And Alexei Navalny chose um, his own safety and his own freedom for his ideals um, to come back to Russia. And for them to arrest him after trying to kill him is, is beyond shocking. And so everybody who's been watching this um, wants to do something. And uh, everybody wants to say, what can we do to help? And outside of Russia, uh, the Russians themselves are, are, are going to determine most of what happens here. How many people show up on the street, uh, whether they show up next weekend and the weekend after, the number of people who show up. But in the West, we also can help. And we, we have one huge piece of leverage, and that is the Magnitsky Act. Um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, Sergei Magnitsky was my lawyer. He um, uncovered a massive corruption scheme uh, 12 years ago, exposed it, and in retaliation, and this was, I should say, a corruption scheme that, that went right up to Vladimir Putin. He exposed the corruption scheme. He was arrested, he was tortured for 358 days, and he was killed uh, on November 16th, <clears throat> uh, uh, 2009. Since then, I, together with everybody else in this press conference, Mikhail Hordakovsky, Gary Kasparov, and Vladimir Karamurza, and many others, um, have worked on a piece of legislation named after Sergei Magnitsky, which would address the impunity of the Putin regime, and that is the Magnitsky Act. 